Hi there, I'm Mae Blythe and I have been working on a project with Java to create a program that will convert more sampler odos to uniform VCV odos. Now the reason I'm making this video is to show that you can use the same uh, math, the same process to do this all by hand with setparam and a spreadsheet editor because Using the project that I am going to be able to give you at the time of recording this video, you'd have to download um, the Java Developer Kit, you'd have to download an IDE. It would be a whole endeavor unless you're already learning to program or you are a Java programmer. So for me, I deal with hundreds of ECV banks if that sounds like an exaggeration, just wait a year and it'll be true. <laughs> and I needed a way to automate the process. So, because I can't handle more sampler odos when I'm making the samples for my blog. So I needed something to fix that. But if you're only dealing with your banks or your friends' banks, then this is a really great way to just get it done without worrying about downloading anything other than a spreadsheet set param. That's it. Now, the reason I'm doing this is because the original way that I did this when I needed to would completely mess up the placement of the red line. And while more sampler autos, I don't know what they're doing. It's not very good. The placement of the red line, which is the most important and the only thing that really matters, is actually pretty decent. If someone timed their autos, like, it'd be easier, but you know what? More sampler is more sampler. It's good for what it does, and this just makes it usable for me in particular. And this is an extra step that most people aren't going to need to do, because after you do this step, if you wanted to make them perfect, you need to spend five hours per pitch placing the offset perfectly so that the red line is in the perfect place and it's a mess. So I'm not sure who's going to use this, but either way, let's get started. Now start by selecting all and copying the auto file and pasting it in. Since we aren't going to be using the aliases in any way, you only need to select separate by comma. If you don't get this dialog box, you just need to go to data, text to columns, and it'll give you the same options. Boop. Now that you have that done, we need to be able to calculate the correct overlap. Now, the correct offset so that when we make the Odo's uniform, the red line will be in the correct place. To do that, we need to make the formula, which is left blank plus current pre utterance minus the pre-utterance we want to use, which in my case is 300. Now you'll notice that this is a negative 95, which looks like it won't work. Well, I've tried it out and it does work and that's amazing. If these were timed properly with the correct um, silence that lasted as long as the notes themselves for the VCV, this wouldn't be a problem. There'd be no overlap. There'd be no negative numbers, but I did test this out and it does work. So now all we have to do is drag this down. Yeah. I think there's an easier and quicker way to do this, but this is how we're doing it right now. So now we just need to select left blank and press paste and then over here we just need to write what we want overlap 
Meh. That's annoying. I want it to have decimal points because that makes it so much easier for me to see what I have done, what I haven't done. Thankfully, my program does have decimal points, and that's what I'm personally going to be using. But it's a whole thing about doubles and integers and all that stuff. So let's just click here and paste. And as I said, while setting up that formula, my preutterance will be 300 and consonant will be 450 and right blank will be negative 600 click and then to prove it is working well now let's go to show 10 times. This is too well. Show. I don't know how to. Let's skip down to K so you can see it better. See. The preutterance is about in the right place, and you're done. Now, you can use more sampler to create a base Odo. And once you're finished with that base Odo, you can pull it in to a spreadsheet and set param and set it so that it's uniform without messing with the position of the pre-utterance, which means that it will be basically correct to the same level as someone who isn't super duper crazy about getting everything perfect. And because of the position of the overlap, it will sound so much better than if you just use the more sampler auto. It's not that difficult of a process and I would be willing to do it for myself each time if it wasn't just for the fact that BlueJ is so lightweight, compiling it and running an instant in, instance is basically nothing. But for anyone who isn't willing to download a very specific version of BlueJ or just use something as um, sluggish and as much of a memory hog as IntelliJ, this is pretty great. I wish I had known this when I started my blog because I would have saved hours of annoyance and effort if I had just known how to preserve the position of pre-utterance. So hopefully I explained everything well enough and just to make sure the formula is left blank plus current preutterance so that puts so that tells you how much where exactly the offset is going to be and it's minus the preutterance that you want to use in your uniform auto file and if you want to preserve the decimal points you can write out the numbers in a text editor instead of just doing it inside the spreadsheet and heck if you really want to put in um, the decimal points after you create the Odo and save it and all of that jazz you can open it in a text editor like notepad plus plus and just say replace all 100 with 100.00 and that'll fix everything yeah I'm sorry I just keep rambling because I'm just so annoyed it took me this long to figure this out. Anyway, hopefully I will see you around for when I talk about my program. And <laughs> hopefully, eventually, I can get it so that's an EXE. And once it's an EXE, 
hopefully I can fix all the problems that I can talk about in my videos about it, but this is how you do all the stuff without any extra programs other than a spreadsheet uh, maker and set param. So, bye!